I yield to the advice of the chairman. Next, I'd like to turn to Robert's Amendment Number 4, which would repeal the health insurance tax, that's H-I-T, the HIT tax, included in Section 9010B, bravo, of Obamacare. Unfortunately, many of the provisions included in Obamacare actually make health care more expensive for individuals and small businesses. In particular, the $145 billion, billion health insurance tax will hit directly small business very hard. The HIT, or HIT provision, is assessed on all health insurance companies based on their national aggregate health insurance premiums. This new tax on small businesses will raise insurance costs for already struggling small businesses and is contrary to the goals of health care reform. The HIT was clearly included for the sole purpose of being a revenue raiser. This burdensome tax will raise $8 billion <coughs> excuse me, in 2014, increasing to $14.3 billion in 2018, and increased based on premium trend thereafter. The Congressional Budget Office and the Joint Committee on Taxation have reported that this tax will be passed along to individuals, fancy that, and small business in the form of higher health insurance premiums, increasing the cost of health care coverage for small business and families. Furthermore, the National Federation of Independent Businesses actually projects the HIT tax will add an additional $475 per year for the average individually purchased family policy. That's nearly $5,000 over a course of a decade. At this time, I will withdraw both of my amendments for this last amendment, but I firmly believe that these tax provisions are badly hurting our economy and need to be repealed immediately.